We go inside your health now. Over 60% of patients say that having fast electronic access to their complete medical record, they say it's important. But information blocking by doctors and hospitals means getting access isn't always easy. This week, the federal government's Department of Health and Human Services finalized regulations that may help. We have our KSTP health expert, Dr. Arkel Giorgio, here with us to explain what all of this is about. I don't know that everybody has heard about this idea of information blocking. So explain to us what it is and how common it is. Sure. Information blocking is when it's unduly hard to for patients to get access to their complete medical records and when it's hard and there's barriers put in place for providers to exchange and share information with each other. So how often does it happen? We don't exactly know, but surveys of experts that monitor these things, over half of these experts say that the medical record systems themselves, like the companies that make my chart, mm -hmm. as an example, um, it happens in over 50% of those companies. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then 30%, it happens at the provider level. And okay. so um, it's caused by competition. It's caused by wanting to be in a little bit of control. So it's not as hmm. uh, common as it was a few years ago, but having it present at all is too much. Yeah, okay, so there's, it, it is a thing, it's happening, and now there's a new rule that should help here. Yeah, so in 2021, there was a law passed called yeah. the Cures Act, and that's when information blocking became mm. uh, illegal, except it's taken this long to actually mm. put the rules in place about how it's going to be enforced. So just yesterday, the federal government came out with their announcement, their final rule that said, this is what's gonna happen to providers who put information blocking practices in place. One is that their reimbursement from Medicare will go down. Mm -hmm. Two is that they won't be eligible for some of the bonuses that they can get for certain activities. Three, they will not be eligible to participate in some programs that um, help them better take care of patients. They're just gonna block them from all these things. And I do wanna point out that last year, they finalized the part of the rule with respect to the medical record uh, vendors themselves they can be fined civil penalties up to a million dollars per occurrence. So what they did was they put huge disincentives in place yeah. to not have this happen. So as a patient, sometimes you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> so how do you know if you're experiencing uh, someone information blocking you? So most of us, hopefully most of us know that you uh, have a right to get immediate access to your lab test results and you can get your medical records. But I want to point out some other subtle um, examples of information blocking that people need to be aware of. Let me m make these clear. One is that if, you know, we know you have access to your medical records, but I mean all of your medical records. So that means that you get to see what the doctor wrote down about you in their note. Mm -hmm. If you don't have access to that directly, that's information blocking. So what did they actually say about you? What were their thoughts? Two is how many times have we had an important test or biopsy, we call the office and they say, wait till you come into the office and the doctor can discuss it with you. That, that may be to help explain it, but that's illegal. That's called information blocking. If you want access to that information, it is available to you. Um, another example is to say, well, you have to come into the office to get the report or charging excessive fees to get access to that information. So anything that creates a hassle, too much cost, too much time or delay, that's called information blocking. Huh. Okay, Arkel, just here with 10 seconds left, sure. what can we do if we feel we're being blocked? Well, if an office has certain forms that have to be filled out, make sure you follow their process. Two is request those records in an electronic format, not paper, because that can be really expensive for you, and they can charge per piece of paper. Three is, if you're still not getting it, mention the 21st Century Cures Act. That is the law that makes this um, your right. Yeah. And four, if you don't get those records, report it to the office of the inspector general, like, or write to your report representative. Yeah. You, this, these are your records. You need to have that. All right. Good to know. Arkel, Thanks. thank you so much. We'll be right back.